What's up, the John Squad? This is Sean Pilling here, your YouTube World Harrison Champion here on YouTube. I got my belt right here, and here is my WWE Monday Night Raw review for January 9, 2017. We got a lot of things to talk about in this episode of Raw, the John Squad. We got lots of things to talk about. Was a must watch, or was definitely not in? Let's get on to it, shall we? We kick off the Monday Raw with Stephanie McFoley back stage. Statements to McFoley that she is going to give McFoley her. He, she is going to give Mick Foley his performance review. Since Seth Rollins was at backstage saying, Hey, Steph, Mick, I'm going to, I, I'm officially announcing myself inside the Royal Rumble. And I think that's pretty awesome too, Seth Rollins now. But then Braun Strowman comes out of nowhere and just brawls with Seth Rollins. They just brawl in the back and fight. And Stamin just tells them all, bolt them to get out of here. Otherwise, they'll be fired. But they did. So that's a good thing. So then the first match we were going to have on Raw was, we were going to have, because we were going to have a two-on-one United States, two-on-one United States handicap match. Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. Now, before the match had begun, Roman Roman Reigns attack. Actually, bleh, the before the match was gonna begin, I should say, is that Braun Strowman comes out and Roman Reigns and him just go at each other first. Then Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, and Braun Strowman beat each other down. But then, wait a minute. Here comes Seth Rollins. He comes out making the save. Saves his buddy Roman Rings with the chair in his hand. And he just grabs the chair, hits Braun Strowman with it. Then he attacks Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens with it. Then Roman Rings and, and uh, Seth Rollins double team and pow! Hit him in the back with the chair. That was pretty impressive. And then Stan Man comes out and says that. Roman Reigns, I'm going to let you recuperate. You are going to have your match at the main event against two-on-one Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho versus Roman Reigns. And then Seth Rollins got the face Braun Strowman in the first match. So in the first match we had on Raw was Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman. And there was no one in this match because it was a double count-off. So then Braun Strowman was going to get a chair, hit Seth Rollins with it. But did that happen? No, it didn't because Seth Rollins grabbed the chair and was going to hit Braun. Then Seth Rollins is standing tall. That's what I like to see. Seth Rollins stand tall. Now, this was definitely a must-watch match, too, because it was awesome. So now, the second match we had on on Raw was Jack Gallagher, man, he's just so awesome, versus Drew Gulak, and the winner was Jack Gallagher, so he's just awesome, I'm happy he won that match, and that match was great. So then we had um an interim promo with Shawn Michaels, he talks about the Royal Rumble and how it's in his hometown, and how he won the Royal Rumble back, the WWE Championship back in his hometown in San Antonio. So that's what he's talking about. And then he talks about his new movie, which is coming out next Friday, January 20th. Mark it on your calendars. In theaters near you. So then Rusev is coming down with Jinder Mahal and Lana. And Rusev is saying this, put my wife Lana in the movie. Put her in, and Shawn Michaels saying, no, we can't do that. They filmed it already. We made it and stuff like that. So then we're saying like this time, I don't care. Just put her in the movie and stuff. So then here comes a da 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 Enzo and Big Cass come out, and, the, and they are talking to Jinder Mahal and Rusev, and they are making fun of them by, by putting them all different kinds of movies like Dumber and Dumber. And, you know, all different movies, Beauty and the Beast and stuff like that. So that's what they're just trying to talk about to them. So then, B Big Cass wants to have a fight with Rusev. But Rusev says, no, you're not going to fight me. You're going to fight Jinder Mahal. So so then he, um, what we get out of this is that, um, uh, it, we we have a match, and it was Big Cass versus Jinder Mahal, and Shawn Michaels was going to be on ringside with Enzo Mori, and Shawn Michaels on ringside super kicked Rusev, and of course the winner of the match was Big Cass. Can I get a thumbs up for that? Because that match was great, phenomenal. That's what I should say. 
Now, the fourth match we had on Raw was Neville versus Lince Dorado. And the winner was Neville. But then after the match, he, um... He uh, beat up on Lince Dorado, put him in a submission hold. Then Rich Swan came out and make the save and started beat up on Neville, and he made the save, and that's what happened there. So now, so now the next match we had on Raw was Luke Gallows versus Sheamus, and the winner was Sheamus. That was awesome right there. That match was good. So then we had Mick Foley in the ring, and is. Calling out the Undertaker and telling the Undertaker needs to be here for, you know, for anything. So statement like trolls the audience, the lights go off, and she's just like trolling and comes out and just trolls the audience. And then she gives Mick Foley her performance review and what has he been doing wrong and stuff. So then the lights go out. It's the Undertaker. And he comes out and announces that a blockbuster, that he is going to be in the Royal Rumble, and that for all those 29 superstars that get in the way, he is going to go after them. So therefore, Undertaker is now in the Royal Rumble. So this has turned up to be so good. Then we have Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Nia Jax and Charlotte. And the winner was Nia Jax and Charlotte. Then we have the New Day had titles and they redeemed himself from back in NXT in 2010 with the keg challenge and they're telling him to carry the keg of booty juice and guess what titles and Neil fails. So then we get a match and it's Kofi Kingston versus titles and Neil and the winner was Kofi Kingston. And that was a must watch segment too so if you want to look it up go ahead because that was pretty good. So then now we had the main event on Raw was a two-on-one handicap match for the United States Championship match. Roman Rings versus Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. And what happens, Dorn, here is that, um, that this match was just great because you know why? Not only, not only that, uh, there was a big surprise and huge upset. I'm like thinking during the match, uh, gee, are they going to have Roman Rings win? But guess what? The winner was, and the new United States champion, Chris Jericho, by all means. His first title that he never won, a United States title. And that was awesome, man. You just never expected that on a Raw program. Even the Raw has been lousy and boring. But I have to admit, now, this Raw was pretty good. It turned out to be a great Raw. And I hope you all enjoy it. enjoyed it yesterday. And... That's about it for my WWE Raw review. There was a couple must-watch and pros and cons about what we, what I liked about it. What I liked about it is that we have a new United States champion, Chris Jericho, and I am happy about that, and I think that's pretty awesome. Sick! Well, once again, John Squad, please like this video, leave your comment down below, and subscribe for more. You're all the best the John Squad. You're one of a kind. Hopefully you enjoyed my Raw review, and, um... If you did, please like it. Peace out, the John Squad. You're all the best.